What's up, bud? What's up? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I've been waiting for uh, about 20 minutes on the line. I was listening to the uh, earlier uh, part of the show. It's uh, really good. Um, but uh, I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, y'all were talking about the uh, stuff in Baltimore, and I was born in Baltimore. Uh, but my family moved when I was about two to three because of uh, the cocaine epidemic was starting to get pretty bad. And, you know, my parents were fairly older than most people's parents, uh, so they kind of seen the writing on the wall. So they moved us down to North Carolina, which is where I've been at. But uh, the thing I want to talk about is for the first five, six years of my life... So I when was, were you born? Uh, Probably early, mid-80s? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I was born in 87. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's a, yeah, you actually picked up on that pretty well. Uh, just the, the 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 historical context of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so they moved us down to North Carolina, but for the first six years of my life, I was surrounded by nothing but uh, Caucasians, and with the exception of when my family would come down here to North Carolina, and I didn't really understand race relationships. But around seven or eight, my parents explained started explaining to us that there were certain things that might start happening to us as we got older that we would just have to deal with. Um, and it's just been, it's, North Carolina's in a, in a real rough spot right now. Uh, I know a lot of minorities that are hurting, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of attention. It's not, this, this is not the only state where this is going on at. Um, but uh, I, this is going to get a little personal, but I'm, I'm Leonard from the uh, comment section or, or the uh, live chat. I've been talking to people, and, uh, you know, I found your show about six months ago, and uh, thank you guys for uh, doing what you're doing and putting putting the message out there and letting people talk. But uh, I, just, I actually, the reason I called is I wanted to kind of get your advice because uh, at the same time I was waiting for this, I'm waiting for my boss to call me back because yesterday uh, I kind of quit. And the job pays me minimum wage, uh, I've worked there for a year. Uh, I've worked plenty of other jobs in my life. Uh, the last job I actually had prior to that was uh, working at um, a uh, retail store, and I was an assistant manager there. It was doing okay, except uh, I was being discriminated against, and I felt like I was being bullied by the regional district manager. And in a situation like that, I didn't want to end up being framed for something I didn't do uh, just to get me out of the way. So I left and started working for this restaurant. Uh, well, yesterday I kind of got upset, and uh, I, I hit something that was pretty hard, and uh, my hand is messed up now. Uh, but despite that, my boss still wants me to come back in and work. And that is, like, because I explained to him yesterday when I was leaving that uh, I didn't know what was going to happen financially in the future, but it was better than continuously trying to put myself in a box that I just didn't fit in. And even if I work 60, 70 hours a week, I still end up losing money. So, uh, how do you, you end up losing money? Do? How do you end up losing money by working 60, 70 hours a week? Um, so at minimum wage, my rent is, uh, four fifty a month. Uh, my electric and utilities run about two fifty a month. And uh, my insurance for my car runs about 150 bucks. And uh, my cell phone, I actually just canceled that. Uh, I still have my landline, obviously. Uh, but the cost of going to work, the cost of buying food, <laughs> because I weigh, I weigh 140, and I try desperately to gain weight, but it just doesn't seem to happen. Uh, so um, I just really, like, I can go back to work and I can continue to kind of tread water. But is it, is it really good for me to, to, to just say enough with this? Because my, the owner of the restaurant, he's, he's a horrible racist. The general manager, you know, is a good friend of mine, and he tries to, to do right by people, but he's kind of constrained. It's kind of the, uh, the, 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 the field worker versus the uh, house worker kind of mentality. Right. Where the, the house, oh, you, you're familiar with that. So, um... Yeah, it's that dynamic going on. And, uh, you know, everybody that works in the back is uh, either black or Hispanic. And uh, the waitresses are um, women between the ages of 45 to 65. And they make, uh, waitresses in North Carolina make $2.13 an hour. 
Right. Uh, it's so, uh, the and and what what is the state minimum wage in in North Carolina? Tell people. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, seven twenty five. Seven and a quarter. Yeah. So, um, yep. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, if you're asking my advice as to whether or not you should go back to work, it's really just a question of how else are you going to survive? I mean, um, is there a, is there another place you can find work in the, in, uh, in the area? Yes. Yes. But, uh, the way this kind of works is it can take a while to get another job around here in North Carolina. The town I stay in is particularly small. There's two other large cities that are about 40 miles in distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I agree with you 100%, though. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what your options are. You know what I mean? I, I don't know your what your your life and what your schedule in terms of your options are at that point. I mean, the only thing I can imagine is it's easier sometimes to get a job when you have one already. But I don't know how you take time off, drive to that city to find uh, where you're going to get work. Um, that is the conundrum. That is the million-dollar question. And I think a lot of other Americans are uh, feeling the same way. Just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Is there, is there, is there some type of work that you think you could do online where you could sort of telecommute? I mean, I don't know how you end up doing that. You obviously don't have the resources necessarily to get, um, I mean, how are you listening to this show? Do you have a uh, cable? Uh, uh, well, you know, I, it's kind of over the last year, it's kind of progressed further and further down into debt. Well, not debt, but just I've lost equipment and not been able to replace it in a timely fashion. So I had a fairly decent computer, and I was uh, streaming on uh, Twitch, and uh, I hadn't really heard about people, you know, broadcasting on YouTube like or getting much success out of that. But the computer uh, that um, was about six, seven years old, that uh, is no longer in commission. So I'm using a tablet, actually. I found you guys on a tablet. Oh, great. And I just kind of ride the internet as best as I can. Yep. Um, well, I mean, I, the only thing I could tell you is that maybe there is some type of, of work online that you could get that would allow you to take, uh, a day off from work that would allow you to, you know, I don't know, to go into a, a bigger area to find another job. I mean, it, you know, this is your story, I think is, it's sort of indicative of, 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 of the problem that I don't think a lot of people understand. And that is when you have uh, limited resources, when you are uh, uh, making the minimum wage, when you're living uh, near or around the poverty level, everything becomes that much more difficult. You know, I mean, I remember as um, uh, when I was in in high school, having uh, a friend who lived in a, a project in Worcester and his family tried to even move out of there, and they couldn't. Get, they couldn't get anybody to rent them an apartment, even though they could afford. They had saved up. They could afford to move out of the that area. They couldn't get anybody to rent it to them because their last residence was this place. And sort of, you know, it's not the exact same dynamic, but you're trapped by your current circumstances, and it makes it that much harder to progress out of. I mean, that's one of the problems with with a seven dollar and twenty five cents uh, minimum wage because you're just slowly it's it's like uh, some type of indentured servitude that you slowly yeah, owe more exactly and more to the feels. company store. And that's I, exactly how it feels, man. I feel like these companies. I don't expect them to have to pay us in gold, but if it's if you don't take care of your employees, it, to me, it makes your company, it just makes it that much harder to run a business. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know your, your situation. I don't even know if I did. I, 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 would, I would have the answer for you. But, I mean, the only thing I could tell you is that, um, you know, is... Y- I think you've helped out a lot so far, um, just to tell you that much. You know, just, just letting me tell my story has, has made me feel better. All right. Well, almost empowered in a way. I, I listen. I wish you uh, the best of luck. Let us know what you end up doing. I mean, I would. It's uh, all I can tell you is it's easier to find work when you have a job, and um, and and it sounds like your work situation is a crappy situation. But if you can hang in there and and just see if there's other avenues that exist for you, while while you're not you know getting behind the eight ball, um, you, you're going to be ultimately better off. But. I certainly can understand, you know, not wanting to go in and 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 dealing with that. That's it. 
I mean, it, 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 it uh, I, my heart goes out to you, buddy. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. It's, it's, it's a hard, it's, uh, it's, cause like, if you, if you can see how, how we just do things, like, cause it's, like, we don't really expect, like, people working at the bottom, we don't really expect, you know, too much. We just, you know, really want to just, you know, make our ends meet and, uh, you know, try and contribute to society as best we can. But, uh, with the, the low wage and the low respect that comes with that, and just like you said, just, it's almost like indentured servitude. You, know, oh. you, you get paid and you turn around and maybe you have 20 bucks left. Well, uh, um, so that's, hang okay, in there uh, and, and, we'll, and, and yeah, good luck. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out, man. Thank you for talking with me, buddy. All right. Thanks for calling. Peace.